Close your eyes and watch your breath. Watch the breath all the way in, all the way out. Try to get your mind firmly established right here. It's when the mind is established that it can see things clearly. Otherwise it's spinning around with the world. Gain, loss, status, loss of status, praise, criticism, pleasure, pain. These things switch back and forth, and if you follow them you start spinning around. And when you're spinning around you get dizzy, you can't really see clearly what's right, what's wrong. You hold on to some things thinking they're permanent, and it turns out that they change. And as for things that really are solid, you miss them entirely. So get the mind firmly established and then you begin to see what's permanent and what's not. It's like someone who's been on a train. You look out the train window and everything is moving. People move, cars move, trees move, mountains move, houses move. Everything's moving because you're moving. It's when the train stops and you get down and stand on the ground, you look around and you see, oh, people move, cars move. But trees don't move, houses don't move, mountains don't move. Then you can get your bearings. We live in this world where we depend on people around us. People sometimes we've known for our entire lives, they can go. It seems like that they were our foundation, a permanent part of the world, but it changes. We have to look for something that's more valuable, something that's more solid. As we chanted just now, anicca to sankara, everything fabricated changes. It's inconstant, how inconstant it is. It keeps on falling away, falling away, falling away. Our thoughts fall away, our bodies fall away, the people around us fall away. What doesn't fall away is the Dharma. The basic principles that the Buddha discovered, those things don't change. What was true in his time is true for our time. And you have to remember that when Sariputta passed away, Ananda took the news to the Buddha and then he commented, Ananda commented, that he felt like he'd lost his bearings, knowing that Sariputta had passed away. And so the Buddha said, well, did Sariputta take virtue with him? No. Did he take concentration? No. Discernment? No. Release? No. These things are still there in the world. In other words, the things that make life worthwhile are still there. And you want to hold on to those. That way when people that you depended on pass away, you still have something inside that you can depend on even more. So always keep that in mind. Look for what's really lasting in life. Hold on to that. And as for things that pass away, as for people, you make merit. After all, you want to recognize the fact that they have been helpful to you. Dedicate the merit to them. Hope that they're happy wherever they go. But you still have to live in this world. So hold on to the good things in this world, the things that are really solid. And in fact, it's holding on to the things that are really solid that you have something good to send to the people who've passed away. It's through our practice of generosity, virtue, meditation, that we have the merit that we can dedicate to others. So hold on to that. Because that's something you really depend on.